please and please, consistency is the rule of the game. I have never seen anybody that has done business with God that has not been consistent for long. And like I said, even though he slay you, please, I beg of you, still praise him. The last challenge of the believers that I want us to consider in the next few minutes is growing in impartation. Growing in impartation. Growing in impartation. Impartation is a mystery. It's a very, very big mystery. Impartation does not just end in laying of hands. It's true. We have reduced impartation to falling under the anointing, laying hands and the rest. Yes. Impactation is the transference of spirit. Impactation is the transfer of abilities. Impactation is the transfer of potentials. Is the transfer of grace. It's possible for you never to meet a man, ever lay hands on you, and you can carry his spirit. Yes. Have you read about the Bible speaking said? John the Baptist is going to come in the spirit of Elijah. Has he ever met Elijah? No. Impartation is spiritual. The physical laying of hands is just a symbolism. It was that the Kenhagen that said, funny enough, we live in a generation where people lay empty hands on empty head. Just because I lay hands on jagabagabaga doesn't mean I transfer anything. I remember the meeting that was it uh, our robot that went for with Benihi Abihu. I can't remember the story well. And as he was just laying, people are just falling, 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 falling. And he said, Young man, stop that. Don't just fall them, give them something. You understand the point? I'll never forget when we were then when we used to stay in Abuja. One day I just went out of the house and I strode to one church that was close. As I entered the church, the man saw me and he called me to the front. And he began to prophesy. He began to prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. This one now, everything the man was saying was a lie, actually. But you know, I was just saying, yes, yeah, because me, I was just like, let me just be out of this place. Do you understand my point? I never really knew anybody would look at me and even call me to, you see that kind of thing. And do you know, I accept everything he said that day. Do you know why? I just like, let me just help him. You know, he said, "I'm working. That if I go to office on Monday, they will give me promotion." He saw my wife. This, this, this. He saw this. He saw that. He saw this. He saw that. I was, you know, I was shocked, and I was like, I was in between. What is going on? I was just people were. I said, wow. So. Well, though thank God he didn't tell me to give him any money anyway, but, <laughs> but afterward, after everything later on, I after the service, I went and met him. I said, Sir, I celebrate the grace of God upon your life. I truly appreciate. I just I'm new in town and this is where I'm staying. So I just felt let me just come and share fellowship. But sincerely, everything you say is a lie. I'm not married, I'm still a student. And that was like this is like five years ago. I'm still a student, you know. I don't I'm not yet working and all of that. I say, Oh, wow. So I expect him to say these things will happen in the future. He said, Oh, actually, like last week, somebody broke into their church and stole speakers and everything. I said, What concern what I'm saying with those ones now? If the ointment of the prophetic is not, you don't try to prophesy. How do people become fake? Trying to do what they are not empowered by grace to do. There is a person eh, that has the gift, even if he's not a prophet. He can look at you and tell you what you have eaten. Some of the most anointed, gifted, prophetic people, they're not even on TV. Some of them, you just find them in one careless village, find them in one careless place. They know you get money, but they will prophesy everything about you. Like you can't hide nothing from them. Because it's a gift. Just like you, you can just go my microphone now and start singing. Go my microphone and start speaking in tongues. Now, gift. Somebody that doesn't have the gift of speaking to will be wondering, what are you doing? It's the same way that when somebody is in his own office and is prophesying, he will count, he will tell you, this is your beers. It's 2005. In fact, the, 
the fifth one just grew yesterday. No. Because when the gift is not there, it's not there. Impartation is the transparent of spirit. It's an ability. When the thing enter, it enter. That is true. So don't try the gimmicks. Stay with God and get the written. If your own calling will be required preaching to wire it, receive the grace of preaching. People like Ola Robot has never prophesied. Hey, what's his name? Is it Ola Robot? The one that uh, Billy Graham. Billy Graham, that the entire president of the nation came. That the Billy Akan, you know, they prophesy. That they are devil, you know, they prophesy. I mean, at least that is the Lord bless you, the Lord. That kind of prophecy is a serious one. Even you can do it. But that's what they do. And people gather everywhere. So, in recent, if that is not your wiring, don't be under pressure to say the color of your boxer is blue. Say, no, it's white, but it's blue. It returned to blue. Impartation is a transfer. When the thing enter you, even you, you cannot keep it. When you stand here, you'll be seeing phone numbers. When you stand here, you can see bank accounts. When you stand here, you can see people's name. Nobody will change it. If I come, I doubt it. You will carry me to one side and start telling me everything. I have met somebody before. I we try the person, the thing work. We try him again, it work. It's like me, if you come anytime, I can preach anytime. That one I give away to me. There are some of you that you have your own special gift. Do you understand my point? You don't struggle to function in your gift. If you struggle, it's not yet there. You need to wait and receive the impartation or grow in the impartation. So one of the challenges of believers is that they have not grown in the impartation of what they have received. And everybody needs an impartation because everybody needs to carry something bigger than them to function. Before Moses transfer, before Moses transfer leadership to Joshua, he transfer impartation. Is that not true? Before Elisha begin to function as Elijah, he collect man to to impartation. Jesus released impartations upon his disciples. Nobody function just like that. It's a lie. As you follow men at that time, you get the grace. If it's genuine, if it's not genuine, you will not get anything because if it's if it's RNG, except they will carry you and teach you how the RNG is being done too. But if the man carry the grace, if you serve the man, it will enter. If you truly listen to me again and again, one day you will stand here and revelation is flowing. It's not because you want to. It's just impartation. And you may never have met me and I lay hands and push you like this. I went to one place, the man put down, he told me, told me, told me, told me, told me, no grief for it, told me, me. Later, I just nailed down. Say, yes, it has entered, it has entered. If it has entered, it will enter since without being me falling. You don't need to fall. That's why, if you observe in Shakana, you hardly see me lay hands. I can go out for Islam administration, enter congregation. Here, if I speak, if you like, fall, if you like, no fall, nothing concerns me. You will not come and tell me not to preach next Saturday. Is that not true? <laughs> In your own church again, you are forcing yourself to push people. Is there a need? Can they collect microphone from you? No. No, you have to be able to understand how the thing work. In your own place, function within the area of your grace. If it's only singing, I can sing. I will keep on singing here every day. Why? Because that is the template God gave me. Impartation is your ability to be able to receive a deposit from the spirit. Men can become the conduit to which this reality is carried.